every week, real estate expert TJ Larson joins us with great information and advice for Charlotte Today viewers. Well, today it's your turn to ask TJ questions. And TJ, we got some good ones from our viewers on Facebook. Thanks to everybody who wrote in. The first one for you, TJ, is from Nona. And she asks, with the market like it is, is it even worth trying to sell by owner via the web? Good question, right? It is, it is. Nona, thank you for your, uh, for your question there. Uh, the first thing is, uh, what, what's the reason for the sale? Uh, are you going to move up? The lower end market right now, call it a $150,000 market, is actually trading fairly well. The higher end market is not trading as well. So if you're looking to move into something better and looking to move up, you may have to sell a little bit lower, but you could also buy lower as well. Now you also mentioned in your question, should you sell by owner? Certainly you can give anything a try, but I would mention to you that statistically that is very tough to do that. 75% uh, of the people that start for sale by owner actually end up using a realtor at the end. Also, there are some statistics that say, if I can say that That's word. That's a hard word it to really say. It really is. I always just say stats or numbers. The stats there say, yeah. there we go, <laughs> that typically you'll get about 16% less if you try to sell your home without the assistance of a realtor. Okay, statistically speaking, it's very, very hard difficult. to say. I know. Okay, the next question comes from Sarah. What really needs to be done before putting a house on the market? What really needs to be done, TJ? What's the important stuff? First thing, price the home right. So Sarah, I would recommend to you look at all of the comparables that you can possibly find. Talk to a realtor that you trust. Potentially, you could also talk to an appraiser. From a realtor, you can get what's called a BPO or a bro broker price opinion. That'll tell you what the homes are selling for in your neighborhood and where you should price it. From an appraiser, they'll give you a full-blown appraisal. You'll probably have to pay about $350 for that. If you start out at the right price, that's my recommendation to selling the home faster and getting the best price overall. I think that's so important. Price it right the first time yeah. right off the bat. I think that's a good one. All right, TJ, there are questions that you're asked frequently by a lot of your customers, and one of them is, what happens if I write the contract on a home, the inspection comes back, there are all kinds of problems, all kinds of issues. Does the seller have to fix those problems? Uh, certain problems that happen with the home, for instance, if it was infested with termites, they, they contractually are obligated to take care of those items. Also, your broker can put into that agreement that certain items do have to be taken care of. If you know that you have an HVAC system that has failed or that you want replaced, ask for it up front, ask for it in the contract. Otherwise, we get into a gray area when we're negotiating. And this is a negotiation just like you would negotiate for price. Uh, so they don't have to fix everything, but if there is an item that's not performing the function for which intended mm -hmm. and is in need of immediate repair, you can ask for those items. And if the seller does not do those for you, you may have cause to get out of the contract and get a refund of your earnest money. Okay, got it. All right, another common question you get. I'm in a contract dispute and I want to get back or keep my earnest money, who does this money belong to? How do I get it back if you're in some kind of a dispute? Well, it doesn't belong to anybody. It's in a trust account to protect both of the parties. And in order to release disputed funds, you need to have an agreement, not only from the buyer, but also from the seller. They both have to agree that that money is going to go to one party or the other, or it's going to be divided up in some form or fashion. That's a trouble for, for us as uh, managers of trust accounts, also for attorneys. We'd like to get that money out of the account. That certainly is not something that helps us. We've got two disputing parties. So after about 120 days, we can turn that over to the clerk of court and we can let a judge decide. Okay, TJ Larson. As always, a pleasure. Thank you Thank so you. much. You can get answers to these questions and more from TJ's website. It's mytownhome.com. Again, it's mytownhome.com. Thank you so much. We'll Thank see you, you next week, TJ. Well, coming up, a